I, I want to just talk about uh, this my topic. I'm more um, uh, focused on what we have right now, okay? I'm trying to give you some idea where to invest and uh, how to make money, hopefully, at this moment. So this is uh, my presentation at PDAC. That's a little bit over um, two months ago. And I immediately the bank failure. Some people would say, oh, wow, you were right. I was lucky. Just timing, timing it almost couldn't be better. So I, I don't want to go through too much. That was my original presentation. So my thesis was inflation will remain high. Recently, the data proved it is remain high, right? The data just published last week was PCE was higher than expected. Uh, so they were talking about the Fed will raise interest rate again in June, if not in, in, in July. So there could be an, another interest rate rise because the inflation is definitely high. But <laughs> I don't think the Fed can, can raise too much. Okay, that's my thesis because they are breaking, already breaking the banking system. What, how high can they raise? Maybe one, maybe, maybe two maximum. 25 point. So that again, that, that's my, my, my talk. And I want to point out, a lot of people say, oh, it's like 2008. Why don't we just run away? We, we, we move everything to cash. OK, so I want to tell you the key difference, key difference between now and 2008. One of the key, I think, they will not allow Lehman Brothers happen again. OK, they will basically back up all the bank deposit with um, federal money, whatever, whatsoever, because they don't want to go through that. That's a key difference. And the election is coming, <laughs> you know. Even most of the Americans don't, don't wish to see a rematch between Biden and Trump. It's going, we're going that way. So election is super important for the administration. Next, and uh, I want to tell you there's a huge amount of money on sideline. I talk about yesterday. I want to emphasize that again. That's a key difference. Okay, and then it's getting higher. It's almost five and a half trillion dollar on the sideline. So, uh, at any given moment, the money can rush in. Right now, they're rushing into AI. Okay, uh, but it probably will fast going and fast, fast money come in and come out. And they're also a very uh, area very very hot is biotech, which I happen to have. So it's it doing extremely well, and I'm just debating when should I start taking profit and so I can have more money to buy uh, the resource stock. So let's look at what happened to Russia. All the reserve is gone, gold is there. Central Bank, Eric had the exactly same diagram. I swear to God, I didn't copy from him. We copied from the same source. <laughs> so this actually, this is a very good telling that Central Bank is buying gold aggressively for the first quarter, you see the highest in the history. Last year was highest in the history. So gold may drop, they will be, they will be a strong hand. They were trying to try to buy as much as possible, especially if it goes down to, you know, 1900 area. So this is my favorite topic is my, about a year ago, I made the claim that Silver Institute report was incorrect, right? So that was their report last year. They said the, the solar panel uh, growth will slow down um, from 13 to 12. So I, that was one, one year ago. One year later, they came out with a new report. If you notice, last year, instead of uh, their prediction was 12, now it's 28. Okay, so they were very wrong. And then I, will, I can tell you, they're, they're predicting the 15% the growth for this year is probably wrong. I mean, I can say it's wrong again, okay? And they, they should be around the 30, 40% range. And the last year, even it's 40, 28% is still low. Uh, it's, uh, they will make adjustment, you know, each year they make some adjustment. They probably, I, see, I wouldn't be surprised, will be 30% range. And this is a perfect. So, <laughs> so this is in their report. That's exactly, if you came to the presentation last year, this time, that, that's almost exactly what we're trying to say. The top new technology will use more silver, okay, and it's coming right now. They are predicting the 2026 is in the same, same, same projection. I think it's too conservative. The, the, the top count going to explode this year, okay, will start taking off. 
So basically is the silver usage in solar panel is going parabolically, and then the new technology are using more silver. Think about that. So this is, a, again, this is a report from a, a, some Chinese Institute as well, Bloomberg all used together. And we are just at very beginning of this dramatic rise of solar panel. And this is from International Energy Agency. They predict 2027, the solar panel will overtake all the other energy source, I mean, number one in the world. And uh, they keep updating the, the demand. And uh, the one of the reasons I want to tell you is, um, it's not, it's for ESG. Okay, it's for ESG, I got it. But it's not just for ESG. If your solar panel combined with the battery, combined with the electrical car, or maybe a satellite, internet, together make a lot of places people don't like to live, actually livable. Okay, very, you think about that, Brazil. That was last year, that's before Lula. That's, uh, it's ruled by the, wet, uh, the right wing. Their solar panel increased by 70, more than 70% in one year. It's, so because the usage, especially for those places, they have plenty of sunshine, they don't have the, like American or US or Canada, we enjoy 24 hour continuous electricity. A lot of places don't like that, right? They don't have the stable electricity. So solar panel combined with the battery make a lot of places livable. So it's for the quality of life for developing country. No, this is a recent, very recent um, update, okay? So uh, you can see the trend force, PV info link, those are like a top notch uh, researchers, okay? This, uh, if you know the industry, they, they are, they are, they are very well known. That's their prediction. And then Silver Institute, they, I mean, they use another company called the Metal Focus Group. And uh, they seem uh, they're not very bullish on commodity price. They already said in public, if you, you can check their uh, interview on Kiko, they think gold should go down to 1700, silver should stay at 21. Uh, they seem to have their preset uh, target for the, I, I think for research, I believe, okay, for research firm, they shouldn't. They should tell you what exactly happened, right? So what is the fact? So but anyway, so I had a long dispute with them for a year. They already upgraded last year's uh, forecast. I think their forecast this year is still very, very low. So I give you one example, because they keep telling me they, they, they are, their prediction is very consistent with CPM group. So I, I put, put together the recent presentation by a good friend, Jeff, at the CPM group, and uh, I take a screenshot of what he predict. predict. Actually, I, I have to um, compliment him because he's the first time he put together how much his projection of solar growth, because um, for the Silver Institute or for the Metal Focus Group, they never gave, they gave published this kind of diagram. It's so basically never tell me what is the base of their consumption, uh, assumption for the prediction, they never gave me or published that, except for CPM group. So you can see their assumption around here, 2023, it's about 200 gigawatts. You notice that, around 200 gigawatts. Right now, the most um, reputable institute around the world predict is around, it's double that. Okay, it's around 400. I can tell you those two predictions are still too low. Uh, this week I heard from my, you know, solar, solar panel manufacturer, they think, they believe, they have a technical association, they believe this year will be over 500. Okay, so whatever it is, we just take 400. 400 will pull uh, CPM group prediction of 2030. 2030 into this year. You think about that. And that will pull the silver assumption close to much higher than this year, to almost 200 million ounce. So I'm, I'm, I'm just saying because I'm not, so this, this, this data is, a, I, don't, um, I don't say this is the wrong data, but this is a, outdated data that's probably published sometime last year 
from IAE, somebody, the industry changing so quickly, okay, uh, a few months make a big difference. And now we are looking at basically double what they were talking about. Um, this, is a, this is on the YouTube, you can find it on YouTube, it's about a few weeks old. So, and then this is a, one of the uh, forecasts by, by Chinese researcher. Uh, it's still very conservative, but you can see 2025, we're looking at more than 250. Uh, this year, about 200, 200 million ounces of silver will be used, about 20%. Uh, and then they also look at the tra trajectory about it will double every three years. So this will continue to grow. Look at the, the bigger picture, this, the silver usage in solar panel will continue to grow for the foreseeable future. And then last year, already the biggest deficit on the record for silver, and this year, and next year will be more and more due to the growth of solar panel. And I think this is a, it will be experienced at least same type of uh, explosion. So, um, and this, this is also the um, uh, International Energy Agency report. Uh, they look at what kind of uh, metal are needed for, for the solar panel, okay? So number one actually is a metal for tellurium, and I happen to have uh, the only pure play of tellurium here. Uh, first tellurium he's going to present, and then after that is silver. Okay, so those two metals are most needed, but also copper, okay, you look at the, they will use all the different metals, uh, tellurium and silver are the most uh, taken, used most by the, by the solar panel industry. They said it's 20, 2030 because they will have some net zero assumption, okay, so but uh, this probably will advance uh, quite a few years ahead. So, and actually I don't want to say the tellurium uh, I will show you, it's trading at near all-time high. <laughs> you, know, you, you can imagine, all the metal came in uh, so far this year. The copper, the oil, the steel, the aluminum, but tellurium is trading at near all-time high. It's because of the real demand. The, oh, this is perfect. This is tellurium price in long-term tellurium price. You look at this, it's just about to, to break out. Just about to break out. And then it's very hard to imagine. Oh. You know, in this day, you know, I mean, all the zinc is down from $2 to $1, right? Copper down a lot, but not as much, but it's $3.50, $3.60, right? Down a lot from $4.50. And Tellurian is about to break out. Reason is, uh, there's a company, American company for first, for, not first, first solar. First solar, they use Tellurian for their solar panel. They take about 60, percent of worldwide tellurium in their solar panel. Okay, so, and then it's keep going up. And according to the International Energy Agency, it will soon use more than 100% of worldwide tellurium. So that's another, uh, another metal I'm very bullish on. So that's uh, pretty much, yeah, th those are, I don't need to talk about that because <laughs> I used to talk about this a lot last year. Now it's in the Solar uh, Institute, I mean, the Silver Institute report. They already acknowledge that this is coming. And then, uh, oh, they are using more silver, new technology using more sil silver. And then we have, you know, all the different double-sided. So I, let's just take a look, just summarize uh, this, the silver outlook, okay? So we are expect to take this, top kind is expect to take up this year, this coming this year, okay? And, um, this will take more silver because add another layer. And there's another technology expected to start taking off next year. The initial talk is about 100%. Uh, the Silver Institute said it's 80%, but it's, you know, it's in the ballpark. So by 2025, more than 50% of the new solar panel expect to be in those two technology. I heard right now, uh, Topcon is it actually is taking off faster than people thought. So this year could be dominated by Topcon already. The, um, there are also multiple layer, because HJT is very thin layer, so you can put multiple layers and actually use more silver. 
But the only cautions I, I have is that this seems to be a new technology. HAT is a low temperature uh, solar panel. It's different than the high temperature, had the traditional Topcon and then Perk. Uh, high temperature and the copper can rust rel relatively easily, become a green thing. So this, this technology, there is a possibility that you use the copper to replace silver and then use a tin on top, a thin layer of tin. It, they're still in the lab, so uh, and it won't come out for, for a few years. So it won't impact us for a few years, but that's a technology to watch. Right? So I don't tell you just everything is bullish, but there's something uh, we need to watch out for as well. So this is a silver chart. It's a little bit outdated, right? It's $21, but it still fit the, the handle very well. 